Welcome back to a brand new mods video. Today is going to be a sick video because we are modifying the coolest car I've ever owned in my whole entire life, which is the R36 Passat Estate car. And I'm making it more of a daily than it already is, but it does involve air ride modifications. So before we get straight into this video, I wanted to show you our brand new owner GTR hoodies. Check out this back print. Stance till death back prints. These have just dropped, they're super limited edition. Don't forget, we've got a crazy deal on owner right now, which is a free t-shirt with every single hoodie that you order. So if you're ordering one of our brand new Stand Till Death GTR hoodies, make sure you add your free t-shirt to your basket. Thanks for the support, as always, insane. Let's get straight into this. Today we are modifying the air ride system on the R36 Passat. And that's not something that you get to do every single day. So you better enjoy this vlog. It's going to be a sick one. Let's get straight into it. This was a few days ago. Welcome back to a banger episode. Today we are finally hitting these two boxes. And we've got a brand new massive box. The Dog Wagon Slash Daily R36 Passat. For those of you who were probably hoping for some exhaust noises, because I'm about to make the daily even more of a daily. So as you can see, the daily R36 Passat is slammed out in the garage. It's pretty clean for a daily. It's slammed on 20 inch tough R's. It's an R36, a very unique car. Probably one of the coolest cars I've ever owned, have to say. This is the current situation. Let's get rid of the speaker upgrades. They can be for a later date. Let's get rid of Django's ball and thrower from the field every day. By the way, I am due to get a haircut today, so I've got no stuff in my hair. So my hair is looking quite chilled. Chilled would be a good way of putting it. So, a lot of you will know who are into your air ride that you have an air tank that holds the air which allows the car to drive higher than this. Then when you drop your air out of your car, your compressor regenerates air back into this tank, giving it air to go to the corners. However, there is a problem. When you've got a Doberman like Django, Django my Doberman is crazy, he will destroy this air tank. So this is a long overdue modification, but I've got a spare wheel well pancake tank. It is what it sounds like, so it's a flat shaped tank that goes underneath. We need some smoothie action. Damn. Okay. I see. So there is the wood off the bottom of the boot. Okay. There's the, the boot blind, which you probably won't be needing now. The spare wheel. This is a stock R36 wheel, very heavy. So this is what we're currently dealing with, which is a piece of wood with all the bits and pieces. A pancake tank. Oh my God, that's crazy. That's the air tank that we're swapping for. So as you can see, that is pretty insane. That is a tank. Made for air ride. Looking absolutely mad as. Looks a bit like an alien. It's got all these sections on, which will be straight up. One of them will be like, in, one of them will be out, one of them will be a drain and the rest will get blanked up. So I'm making progress, I've moved the compressor just out of the way a second, I've eyed up the pancake tank and it does look as if I'll be able to just relocate this management to over here. If you can hear this, like a hissing, I'm currently draining the air out of the tank without it exploding all over me. So I've just nipped it off a bit, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea, come back in a minute when all the air has gone out of it. And then we can take this board up, which is pretty cool. I thought this board was going to... I've basically borrowed a board off Trav. And I was going to cut 
basically I was going to cut that so it's good to know that that's there because it's one thing less that I have to do so check it out that's the hard lined rear tank which is pretty savage as you can see on the underneath you've got one fixing at that end and you've got one fixing at that end we need to keep this because this is the drain but the tank can come off the boot floor now obviously I'm an air ride geek and I'm well into my air ride tanks compressors management all that stuff it's right up my street these days so I'm having a great day I'm not gonna lie to you so I'm making a brew right now and I'm having a great day faffing around of air ride okay I've got my position this is how I'm gonna run it tank there there is the pancake tank there's the manifold I'm gonna do away with that I don't even need it and this thing is excessive and to be honest I don't really want to screw my tank to that to then have this there I also don't really want to bond a big piece of wood to the floor and never be able to get it up that seems like chaos so I've got an idea I'm using four small pieces of MDF I've drilled them with a six mil drill hole okay so on the underneath of the tank you've got these feet and basically the bottom of the boot floor is this crazy hardened plastic all the way to the ground there's no metal at all underneath that I've triple checked by looking underneath so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to use 6mm nut and bolts let's get them real right now I'm going to slide a bolt through the bottom of that I'm then going to fix that like so I'm basically going to fit these pieces of wood that I can then spin around in the boot like that and then self tap these to the floor which means I can take it out as well if I need to actually that was nearly stupid it would make more sense to pull the bolt this way because then the extra length on the bolt is in that gap that makes a lot more sense this is going to be good it's working out so now I have access to screw all of these little pieces down onto parts of the boot like this, 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 this if you get me I think this will be pretty good actually I think it would be good however what I am going to do is do my mounts on the top first you have to put a bunch of delete mounts and then you have to put a bunch of so these things in with TFE tape on and then you have to put a couple of these in so we can actually put some lines in <laughs> <laughs> alright it's going pretty good it's going pretty good and currently I've fixed it to the boot floor and now I'm just tightening up the little 10 mils that are going to hold it tight as to the wood The tank is in so I'll run you through what I've done look at all the stuff everywhere it's been chaos so I've used PTFE tape I've put all of these blank and bolts in then we've got the compressor line which is going to fill the tank I've then put this weird blank and one in off the other tank because they were one short on this I've then got a line for the tank to uh, then I've got an outline which feeds the manifold so now I've just got to put the dots together and we shouldn't have anything up there in a minute everything should be in here
Right, now this needs cutting. It's not even a good cut, to be honest. That is. So that wants to go in there. should be done. One in, one out, water trap, compressor screwed down, management screwed down, screwed down. Let's turn it on, let's see if it works. This is gonna be mad as. Let's see if she works. Tell you what, we'll give you a side one to start with. This will be mad. I didn't actually think the tank's completely empty. So it's currently, as you can hear, it's filling the air tank, which means in a couple of minutes, it should be in the air. Okay, so, check it, it's in the air. The tank's pressurized, the compressor's stopped, and I've turned the car off. And we have one huge ass boot, check it out. So as you can see now, the wood is back in. And it is massive in there. That brings us to now. That brings us to now where we are going to unbox the dog guard, which goes right on the back of the seats. And I've had it custom made. So I think this is going to be. I'm pretty sure this is going to be pre built. It's just going to be a case of installing it. I can let you know what that is like. Jeez. Oh, mate, this looks sick as. Absolutely insane. insane so that's the guard that's been custom made for a b6 passat check it how cool is that okay check it out this is my mesh that i've had which is going to separate the frenchies from django so if i run in a coffee shop and i leave django in the back of my car or something whilst i get a drink or i go to the toilet or i put some fuel in he's going to be all right in the back check that that's crazy, custom made. How savage is that? And there ain't no way he's getting through that. It's like full on steel. That is epic. I would imagine you can probably put them bottom pieces underneath, but I think I'm just gonna leave them on the top because I prefer the height to be high. Look at that, that's insane. Thanks for tuning in and checking out today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And make sure you get involved in the comments below underneath this video and let me know what the next mod should be for the R36 Passat. Don't forget, we've got brand new Stance Till Death hoodies. I'm currently wearing it. I'll show you the back print in case you missed it at the beginning. Absolutely insane. These are super limited edition and they're obviously included in the free t-shirt of every single hoodie deal. So make sure you get involved. Owner official or just Google owner, we're at the top. Make sure you get involved, smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace out.